One thing that we're interested in is extreme flooding and extreme drought. We're looking to see what will happen to the landscape in the next 50 or 100 years. Um, we're expecting to see lots more rainfall events, particularly in the winter, and that's generating storm discharge water, which is um, changing the way that the rivers are working. It's understanding that balance between the good things that might happen with climate change and the bad things. My big thing is the interaction between people and the environment. People get benefits from functioning ecosystems, these are services. I particularly work in the tropics where people are very dependent on ecosystem services. I've spent more than 16 years working with communities living around rainforests in eastern Madagascar and I'm very interested in how conservation can impact poverty both in positive ways and negative ways. I'm a geographer in general, specifically I'm a an environmental geochemist, so I'm interested in particular issues of pollution, particularly with respect to metals in the environment, um, how they impact upon environmental health, how they impact upon human health, but also how we can use geochemical properties to fingerprint and to identify sources of pollution to improve environmental management, to improve environmental quality. Students also get the opportunity to uh, conduct research projects here during their third year. So on today's like today, and it's particularly wet and cold, sheep in farming systems in Wales really struggle to survive. So here in Bangor, we're doing experiments with electric sheep to work out how much energy is required to maintain a healthy animal. This is a fantastic opportunity to get some real life experience out in the field. I can't think of any other places in the United Kingdom where you'd have such a great diversity of ecosystems and landscapes. Yeah.